لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين الذي نحمده ونستعينه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ربنا لك الحمد حتى ترضى ربنا لك الحمد إذا ما رضيت ربنا لك الحمد بعد الرضا فلك الحمد أبدا 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 اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا, علمتنا وزيدنا علما We thank Allah We praise Allah We give all credit to Allah Indeed, all credit and prestige belongs to Allah We thank Him for allowing us to gather today and have a full gym to listen to the reminder, listen to some words from the Qur'an, a reminder for us as Muslims to have a good week going forward. From one Jumu'ah to the next, you get guidance, you get a message from the Qur'an. It makes your faith stronger. Alhamdulillah that this gym was pretty much empty. We barely had a few people for Jumu'ah. Now we're able to gather here for Jumu'ah and have a lot of us. Alhamdulillah, we thank Him. We thank Him for allowing us to be in school and learn from each other and learn in an environment where we can learn the Qur'an. We can learn Allah's words directly, which is something that many people don't have access to. In public school, they don't teach the meaning of the Qur'an. In public school, they don't teach the reading of the Qur'an. In public school, you don't get a chance to even read the Qur'an altogether. So we thank Allah for all the blessings that He has given us. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna ad-deen inda Allah al-Islam. وَمَخْتَلَفَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْعِلْمِ بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ Indeed, as far as Allah is concerned, the religion, meaning the only religion, the only right way, is Islam. And the people who received revelation from Allah in the past, they only disagreed when they had too much knowledge because they were jealous of each other. They had envy amongst each other. They were arrogant with their knowledge. That's why they disagreed. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين حنفاء ويقيموا الصلاة ويؤتوا الزكاة وذلك دين القيمة. What else is Allah demanding? What else is Allah's instructions other than what? To worship Him sincerely, dedicating yourself to Him, to establish salah, the daily prayers, and to give zakah, to give in charity from what you have. That is the upright religion. That is the upright way. So what, is it, what does Islam mean? What does it mean to be a Muslim? Because Allah is saying the only way the religion, as far as Allah is concerned, the right way is Islam. So what does it mean? Let's look at who were the Muslims in the past. Allah tells us in the Qur'an that Ibrahim السلام, was a Muslim. Abraham السلام, peace be upon him, he was a Muslim. Allah tells us in the Qur'an that his sons, Ismail and Ishaq, they were Muslims. And the son of Ishaq, Ya'qub, was a Muslim. And the sons of Ya'qub were Muslims. Allah tells us in the Qur'an they were Muslims. Allah tells us in the Qur'an that 
Isa السلام, and all the people who followed him were Muslims. Allah tells us in the Quran that many of the people before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam were Muslims. But if you meet somebody, let's say you're in the, at, at Walmart and you meet somebody to ask your mom about, are you Muslim? What does it mean? Who are the Muslims? And you tell them that there were Muslims before Prophet Muhammad. They will find that very strange because people think Islam is the religion of Prophet Muhammad. But it's not the religion of Prophet Muhammad. Allah says in the Quran, all these people in the past, they were Muslims. Islam is not the religion of any particular person. And Allah makes that very clear in Surah Ali Imran when he says, Why do you say that Ibrahim was Jewish? Why do you say that Ibrahim was Christian? He wasn't Jewish and he wasn't Christian because he was before the Jewish religion came. And he was before the Christian religion came. Instead, Ibrahim السلام, was a Muslim. So Ibrahim السلام, he wasn't before Muslim religion came. No, he was before Prophet Muhammad وسلم, But he was a Muslim. You see, the name Jewish and the name Christian, they're connected to something limited in time. Some person or some place. Like Christ is one of the names that they give Jesus, Isa alayhi salam. So being a Christian is attached to Isa. We are not Muhammadans, we are Muslims. The name of our religion is not attached to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The name of our religion, what does it mean? Muslims. It's not attached to a person, it's not attached to a particular place or time. It's attached directly to Allah. What does the word Islam mean? Because this is the way. This is, Allah. this is the way Allah wants for all of us. Islam, what does it mean? You might have heard before, Islam means peace. Yes and no. Yes, Islam is a word that comes from a word that means peace. And all of you know this word because you say, peace be upon you every morning and every evening. And every time you meet people, you reply, and upon you be peace in Arabic, which is, As-salamu alaykum. So the word salam means peace. And the word Islam comes from the word salam. So the word Islam and the word salam, they come from the same family. So you can say Islam means peace in that way. But the word Islam is not the same word as the word salam. Salam means peace. Islam means much more than peace. What does the word Islam mean? Islam is when you willingly wholeheartedly, with your heart, with love and dedication, you turn yourself to Allah and you surrender to Allah and you rely upon Allah and you let Allah decide for you and guide you on what is best. That is Islam. You don't let your own ego or your own desires to take over and guide you and drive your life. No, you're in the driver's seat and you decide where you go and you let Allah decide that and guide you. That is Islam. When you wholeheartedly, with all the love in your heart, turn to Allah, dedicate yourself to Allah, submit and surrender to Allah, rely upon Allah. That is the meaning of Islam. And when a person does that, they're not going to be a slave of anybody or anything else. And they will find peace. So Islam does not mean peace. Islam is a way of life that will lead you to find peace. The Sahaba, meaning the companions of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, they were sitting with him at the masjid and a man came in, this is in Medina, a small city, about 3,000 or more people, a small city. Everybody knew each other, at least by face. Because 3,000 is, I mean, it's a big number compared to our school, but it's, it's only about seven times the number of people in the school. So it's not, you know, that huge. 3,000 is, you would know each other. People know each, knew each other at least by face. And this man comes into the masjid. Nobody knows him. Nobody recognizes him. 
But if there's a, someone who's new in town that nobody knows, that means he just traveled. He came from somewhere and he's a traveler. This happened a lot. A lot of people were traveling and they came through Medina. But this man, he was wearing such clean, white, shiny white even, thobe or garments. His clothes were almost shiny white. White like they had never seen before. And I'll go off on a small tangent here. This kind of white that I'm wearing, and a lot of you are wearing also, this white did not exist before modern day industry. White was what we nowadays call, nowadays call off-white. <laughs> Sheep are white, we call them white, but they're not as white as my thobe. <laughs> so back in the days, they didn't know this kind of white. They saw a man, he was wearing white like they had never seen before. <laughs> Allahu alam. And they didn't know him. And he didn't have, he didn't at all look like he just came off of his camel because he was traveling. He wasn't dusty, his hair was all tidy. And they wondered, who is this person? And he came and sat right in front of Prophet Muhammad knee to knee, touching his knees And he asked him, what is Islam? And Prophet Muhammad he replied, Islam is to testify that there is only one God, Allah. And Islam is to pray salah five times a day. And Islam is to give zakah, give charity from what you have. And Islam is to fast the month of Ramadan. And Islam is to, you know the last one, do hajj, perform the pilgrimage to the Kaaba for those who can. And the man right in front of him replied, correct. Then he asked, and what is Iman? The man asked Prophet Muhammad وسلم, what is Iman? Now this is a little strange. He looks strange, nobody knows him, and now he's asking a question, but after he hears the answer, he says, correct. So what's the second question? What is Iman? Which we could translate as faith. What is faith? So Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he tells him, faith, Iman, is that you believe in Allah, and you believe in His angels, and you believe in His revelation, the books, and you believe in His messengers who were sent revelation, and you believe in the afterlife, the hereafter, the akhirah, that there is something, there is a life, we're not dead when, we're, when we die, we're not actually dead, we have a life after that. And that you believe in the qadr of Allah, you believe that Allah is in control, you believe all six of these things. And the man again says, correct. And then he asks another question. He says, and what is Ihsan? Ihsan. Ihsan we can translate as excellence. Islam is one level. Iman is a level above that. Ihsan is the level on top of that. Excellence. What is excellence? And Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he says, Ihsan, excellence, is that you live your life in worship of Allah as if you could see Allah. Can you see me right now? Yes, you can. Right? Can you see Allah? You cannot see Allah. Prophet Muhammad says, وسلم, Ihsan, excellence, is when you live your life in worship of Allah as if you could see Him. And you should know that even though you cannot see Allah, He can see you. And the man replies, Correct. So then, when the man left, the Sahaba were wondering, what, what just happened? This was very strange. Who did, where did he come from? Who's this person? And what was this? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained, this was Angel Jibreel alayhi salam. Angel Jibreel came in the form of a man to teach you your religion. He came to teach you what is Islam, what is Iman, and what is Ihsan. Allahumma ja'alna min al-Muslimin, Allahumma ja'alna min al-Mu'mineen, Allahumma ja'alna min al-Muhsineen. Ameen. Allahumma ya Allah, make us among the Muslims who uphold the five pillars of Islam. Ameen. Ya Allah, make us among the Mu'mineen, the believers who believe firmly in the six pillars of faith, the six items. 
And yet Allah make us among the muhsineen, the ones who do excellent, the ones who worship you, Ya Allah, as if we could see you. Ameen. When I make a dua like this, you should all say Ameen. Astaghfirullah li wa lakum, fastaghfiruhu, innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah al-ladhi hadana, wa ma kunna li nahtadi ya lawla an hadana Allah. We thank Allah for the guidance He has provided us. The roadmap is there for you. You want to have a happy life? You want to have a peaceful life? You want to be in control of your life and not let other people control your life? What do you do? You become a Muslim. You live Islam. You follow the instructions of Allah. Because you know that Islam is a word that comes from Salam, which is a way to be in control of your life. Not let anybody or anything control your life. And you will be, you will have a peaceful life. And we say, رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدْ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ نَبِيًّا وَرَسُولًا We are very happy, happy and content. We don't feel like we need anything else. We are very happy to have Allah as our Lord. Allah as the one in control of our life and giving us guidance. What if it was the President of the United States? No, instead we have Allah. We have the All-Merciful, the All-Compassionate, the one who takes care of everything and loves us more than we love Him. That is the one who is our Lord. We are so happy and content to have Allah as our Lord, as our Master, as the one taking care of us. رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا And we are so happy and content. We don't want anything else for our life than to have Islam as our religion. To know how to turn to Allah and live a peaceful life. And we are happy and content with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as our messenger, the best man who ever walked this earth, the role model for all and for each and every one of us, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the one who was given the choice to either be a king or just be a humble servant, and he chose to be a humble servant, the one who was making dua every single day for all of us, each and every one of us, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, made dua every single day for each one of us. One time Aisha, his wife, radiallahu anha, she asked him to make a dua for her. He made a dua for her and she became so happy. And he said, does my dua make you happy? She says, yes, your dua makes me so happy. And he said, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, this is the dua I say every day for all of my ummah, which is every one of us. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدْ صلى الله عليه وسلم نَبِيًّا وَرَسُولًا رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدْ صلى الله عليه وسلم نَبِيًّا وَرَسُولًا آمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار آمين ربنا جعلنا من المسلمين آمين ربنا جعلنا من المؤمنين آمين ربنا جعلنا من المحسنين آمين May Allah make us Muslims, believers, and excellent people. Ameen. Rabbana awzi'na an nashkura ni'matakal lati an'amta alayna wa ala walidina wa an'amala salihan tardah wa adakhilna bi rahmatika fi ibadika salihin. Ameen. Wa salli allahumma ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Wa aqimis salah.